Well, welcome back to Richards. We've got a fun one today. It's Bourbon County's brand Moncherry Stout. That's right, everybody. Goose Island's back with another Bourbon County. This time, the Moncherry Stout. It's a stout aged in bourbon barrels with cherries, granola, oats, brown sugar, and 100% natural flavors. What are natural flavors? Oh, that's a whole thing. It could be anything. It could be the cherry. It's probably cherry. It's probably cherry flavor. That is so deceiving when they say natural flavors because you think it comes from the earth. But they're artificial pretty much. No, because if they're artificial, it would have to say artificial flavor. On so it. what's a natural flavor? Natural flavor means it was distilled from whatever thing it's flavoring. So what does distilled mean? Like extracted, I should say extracted. So like they take a syringe and they go... <laughs> it's like, so they take a cherry and they find out what uh, what chemical in that cherry makes it taste like cherry and they extract that. And so that makes it cherry flavored. Kind of like almond extract. That's the extract from the almond that makes it taste like almond. So they're not taking a syringe going whoop. No. Uh, I'm pretty excited for this. The nosing notes on here are aromas of amaretto expand into flavors of oats, cherry, and chocolate with a silky finish. I want to try amaretto next. Have you ever had that before? Oh, it's been a hot minute. Is it good? I don't really like it. Let's try it. This is the 2019 variant. Uh, pretty excited for this. Last bottle of this. And uh, just about four years old. So getting that out of the fridge. And hopefully there's still some cherry flavor in it. I think so. That one, that, that blueberry one that we had was technically a year late. And it still tasted a lot like blueberry, like blueberry, <laughs> not as much as other blueberry beers we've had, but still, there was still a lot of blueberry in there. So hopefully there's still cherry in here. Cherry, I find to be like blueberry where it can get overshadowed by a lot of flavor mm -hmm. and it fades fast. So that's why I'm hoping there's still some cherry. In there. And I don't know about you. I think we already said this before, maybe once or twice. I don't know. I had cherry cough syrup when I was a kid. So it could be a little medicinal. I don't know. But well, hopefully not. But that's enough talking about it. Let's get to drinking about it. All right, Mongetti. Let's get this beer open. How come that's so, like, cute in French? Like, you can call me Mongetti, but in English? Not that cute. Hello, my cherry. Cherries. Sorry, everybody, but cherry sounds like a stripper's name. Just name your kid Sherry if you want to do that. Also a short one. Okay. Sh no, because Sherry could be short for Cheryl. Oh, I get the the like the oat smell in there. Like the oat and the what else do they have? This? Granola. Granola is what I get on the nose. First first up. I don't know if you saw me, but the our uh our audience saw me and I made the dis most disgusting face I think I've ever made it in the really? history of Just really? the first sniff. Um, after that, I get a lot of the base stout, a lot of that like toffee, caramel type smell. I think I get a lot of the oats and the granola, I guess. It's... Something like very bland too. Not bland, but like something like neutral, like maybe vanilla. Well, oats and granola are pretty neutral. Yeah, but something. It could be the vanilla again from the base beer. It's kind of reminding me of like a Horus, like coconutty something. No cherry though. No cherry on the nose. little bit on the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like this? Alcohol is a bigger factor in this one. I was gonna say at the very beginning I thought it was a lot more carbonated than I thought it was gonna be which those are not super carbonated but it's not carbonation it's the sting of the bourbon. I like it. I'm not getting any cherry at all. 
there's a little bit in the beginning for me. It's like a, like a whiskey cherry, like a cocktail cherry. Well, isn't that what, isn't that what amaretto is? Like a, like, isn't it a liqueur though? Oh, is it, it is a liqueur, huh? But it's cherry. Yeah. It's a cherry liqueur. It's like that darker, denser red cherry flavor. It's like, it's like thick and sticky though, right? I think so. Yeah. I don't we know. We could be completely wrong. <laughs> I have no idea. But that's what I'm imagining, and that's kind of what I get in the beginning. It's not very strong. Having had this before, it's never been that strong. Um, but this is very tasty. It does add upon the base beer. Um, mm. Oh? Sorry. I think I need to chew it. It's time for the big chew. And if you want to check out some of our other Bourbon County reviews, you can check those out over there. I get a, like a subtle hint of cherry, like you were just saying, right mm -hmm. when I heard it, or when I, right when I tasted it. I think this is one that needs to warm up a little bit, but also you need to chew it because that really helps. The, the, the chewing from your teeth into the beer, it really makes a difference. It's not just the heat from your mouth, it's you gotta chew, chew, chew. Are you gonna chew it? The big chew. Yeah, chewing it. You do get a lot more cherry. Cause you chewed it. Yeah, it warms up in your mouth, everything. No, cause you chewed it. Yeah, a lot, lot more cherry. Yeah, but I really, really, really enjoy this. Um, I, I, I'm a sucker for chocolate covered cherries. My mom brought home. Uh, I'm sure that people have other ha have had this too. She brought home like chocolate covered liqueur cherries too Ooh, once. Oh yeah. It's not giving me like it's not reminding me of this or that or vice versa, but. Cherries go so well, that's why Amaretto's a thing, with liquor, and I, I get where they were coming from with this collab, or this, this, um, variant. this variant, but it's not quite there. I think, yes, you get cherry when it heats up a little bit, but not that much. It's still pretty subtle. But the flavors are really good, it's just if they omitted the cherry in here, like on the label, it would have been perfect. I don't know. I don't know. Like there. Well, I think the point is it's cherry. I mean, it's in the name. If they called it something else and they just said, "Oh, it's granola, oats, brown sugar, and natural flavor added," maybe they did add natural flavor of cherries. But if they just said that, it would have been a five. Really. Because I don't get enough cherry to say yes, this is perfect. I really, 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 really do like this. I it's like just... this a lot. Ooh. I agree, it's not perfect. But I'm gonna give it a 4.75. Because it is an improvement upon the base stout. I do get the cherry there in the beginning. I think the granola and oat add like that neutral flavor to it. I don't know, like you were describing it earlier. It's not, yeah, it's not bready or anything, but it's just like a, like, when you eat granola or eat oats, it's just like a neutral, starchy, I guess, flavor, yeah. kind of? But it, it lends itself very well in this beer. And the brown sugar adds a much needed sweetness to bring out the cherry more mm -hmm. and to offset the alcohol. It's good. I, I agree. I think I give it a 4.75 also. I just wish there was more cherry. Yeah, don't we all? Uh, I mentioned alcohol. Alcohol, I feel like, is a, a bigger factor in this one, perhaps because it's one of the newer bourbon counties that we've had. How many decimal places? One. One, I mean, if I had to guess, I would say this feels like it's going to be like a 14.6. 14.1. Oof. Close. It was bottled on August 25th. Nope. They changed it. It's the drink by date, August 25th, 2024. So we're good. We're good. We had a whole another year to wait. Um, I'm glad we enjoyed it now before the cherry fades anymore. 
Um, if you have any of the Mon Cherry brand stout, it's drinking good. Yeah, it's really good. Just let it warm up just a little bit if you want to taste the cherry. And chew it. Always chew it. But that's going to do it for today's video. Like, share, subscribe, click the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload new videos. And until then, we're the Rumor Church, trying every beer from around the world. One, One sip, sip at a time. time.